All right, everyone, next up in our handstand prep progression, we just did a pike hold scissor float. We tried it with our feet on the ground and with them elevated on a block, and we're just bringing one leg over to try to learn how to balance. Now, if you did that and you felt like you just spent, spent way too much time on your hands and it's way too challenging to hold there, maybe your upper body isn't quite ready for that yet. Um, another good way to try to teach yourself the balance but with less time under tension for your wrists is the uh, pike scissor kicks, right? So we're just gonna kick our feet up, switch sides, and try to find that balance point. Try to find what it feels like to kind of float on top of your hands. So we get set up the same way. Hands are flat, fingers are spread, belly button is back, neck is long. Okay, so now we've got everything. Now from here, I am just going to kick one leg back and lead with that leg back down. Just like this. Okay, so I'm just introducing myself to some of this load. I can even step into it. Okay, and this might look more like a type of handstand that you may have tried before. I'll do one more. Okay, you wanna try to exaggerate the scissor kick portion of this a little bit more than maybe I did on that last one, especially. Um, this one's cool because you're not spending so much time on your hands. They get a little bit of a break between each rep if you do the step in version. Um, otherwise, just kind of not even having, even if your feet stay down and your hands stay down, you still unload them when you put your weight back on your feet. So again, this one's good if you're feeling like you're loading your wrists and you're loading your elbows and hands a little too long during some of the other more advanced variations, but this is a great way to start getting your body inverted, start getting your hands and wrists accustomed to being loaded and start to really get you into stuff that looks like a handstand.